Hi there, I'm Leisure B from the Human Workshop Collective. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a wobble bass with Native Instruments FM8. If you are a more experienced FM8 user, this tutorial is probably a bit basic, but since I added some downloadable goodies, it might still be interesting for anyone who's working on some nasty dubstep with FM8. If you haven't already, please make sure that you download the zip file with the drum loop, the MIDI files, and the FM8 patches I've prepared for this tut from the video description link. Then open your favorite sequencer and start a new instance of FM8. For this patch we're going to use two sine waves as the carriers of the sound. Go to the operators tab by clicking the OPS button. Then enable oscillator E by right click and send E and F to the master at a level of 100. By now slightly detuning both oscillators we'll get a gradual widening of the sound while it progresses due to the uneven wavelength of both oscillators. This effect won't become entirely clear until we enable their respective key sync buttons. The key sync button makes sure that the oscillator always starts on the same waveform position. If you're using simple sounds this might not seem very important, but as soon as you're working with slow waveforms for modulators, it becomes extremely important that each oscillator always starts on the same position. If you want to keep the sound stable. And more important, sounding the same when you come back to your project at a later stage. Now we're going to add some frequency modulation to the carriers. Enable oscillator D by right clicking it and send it to E at a level of 76. And into F at a level of 83. Now set the ratio of oscillator D to 0 0.5. So it detunes by one octave to the main frequency. Set the waveform to sawtooth. Nice. And don't forget to enable the key sync button. Else the sound will be all over the place. As you can see in the spectrum analyzer, we now have some nice comb-like harmonics with a wide low range. We still need the sound to get a little bit dirtier though. Let's enable oscillator C. Set its waveform to TX wave 2. And pitch the envelope up to 4 times the original frequency. Again, don't forget to enable the key sync button. Now feed oscillator C into D at a level of 41. Now that we have a nice basis for the sound, let's get ready to wobble! Open the modulation tab by pressing the mod button. Start off by disabling the current LFO routing via the mod wheel by double clicking on the routing node. Then send LFO 1 directly to oscillator C and D at a level of 100. Again, pretty nice. To get the wobble ready for use in our arrangement, we'll have to set the rate of LFO1 corresponding to our sequencer's BPM. First off, we'll disable the key and velocity scaling, so velocity and note values won't have any influence on the tempo of the wobble.
Then we'll enable the key sync option so the LFO restarts at every key press. Now normally I would suggest using the sync option here, but since FM8 doesn't support triplets, we'll have to resort to manually tuning the LFO. Set the rate of the LFO to 54. And let's change its start point a bit by setting the delay to 6. Now set the waveform to sign in order to achieve the distinct wobble sound. Since the sound still reminds a bit of an alarm clock, let's play around with the pitch envelope a bit in order to get some interesting extras. Open the pitch envelope by pressing the pitch button. Start off by setting the envelope to tempo sync and set the envelope to 63. The envelope determines how much effect it will have on the pitch, so a higher value here is usually not a bad idea. Now drag the end of the sustain of the envelope to 3 fourths and drag her all the way down. Then set the slope to 0 0.05 so we'll get a nice pitch decrease at the end of the note. Right, that's it for the core creation of the sound. The next stop is the master window. First, let's start off by turning the volume of the sound down a bit, so we won't have any pissed off neighbors. Who'd want that? Then set the unison voices to 4, the detune to 26, and the panning to 29. Always works like a charm. Now let's make a final stop at the effects window to smoothen out the sound for our mix. I would suggest that you first open all the files which came along with this tutorial next to your freshly created patch, but this is of course not a necessity. Okay, let's start off by turning the wobble down a bit. Seems like FMA didn't save the volume setting. Let's put that back on 45. Now start off by enabling the shelving EQ in the effects window. And add a lot of high end to make the sound more nasty. Then enable the peak EQ and get rid of those annoying mids. Okay, that seems to fit in nicely. Turn that back up a bit.
Right, that's it for this free tutorial. If you're still hungry for more and you got some cash to spend, I would strongly advise that you purchase my dubstep fundamentals with FM8 tutorial by fm8tutorials.com. If you want to know what I'm up to music wise, you can check out my latest video slash mp3 release live in space, which features nine bass heavy tracks along with an extensive tutorial on the production. Also stay tuned for the building the Tonecraft studio tutorial, in which will show you how to build a decent studio room on a low budget. Hang tight and see you soon.